Hello, my name is Fiona Stanton from Feast Paper Crafts. Today I wanted to show you a couple of ATCs. ATC stands for Artist Trading Cards and they're a way of you being able to express yourself artistically without necessarily making a full card. It could be, um, I find I can be more artistic on these and I would be on card fronts. Card fronts I tend to, to you're trying to please the person you're sending it to as well as these. Well, these are completely selfish. These are what I like to do. Um, so I wanted to show you two. So these card stocks are cut to three, two, three by four, three by four inches. And I wanted to show you two different styles. The one that I suppose this is what I always think when I see ATCs. I think it's quite grungy, quite textural, got a lot um, uh, dark. It has an exp uh, an expression on it, um, or a sense, not necessarily a sentiment, an expression. Um, about artistic freedom or about yourself, etc. Um, and this one is more clean and simple. Um, so I'll show you those two. First of all, I mean, we are using retired stamps or stamps that are retiring, but this is new. This is the brand new Trio Punch from Stamping Up. This is, comes out um, in June with a new catalogue. Uh, if you want to get stuff early, then you need to come and join my team. Pre-order starts on May the 2nd, um, so if you join now, you can order as soon as the pre-order starts. Uh, with Stampin' Up! you do have a week's uh, grace period where you can't order anything. Um, part of the regulations when you sign up for something like this, that you have that kind of uh, seven days um, to change your mind. So, as you can see, it's got a lovely corner rounder on it. Actually, it's a really nice corner rounder. Um, it's also got a couple of elements. That one is so you can um, put a hole in your tag for ribbon, and then you've got a decorative corner, and I'll show you that one uh, later on. Another time, I haven't got a, a spare piece. So, um, what we'll do now, we'll do this one, we'll start with this one. And what we could do, actually, I, we'll change it a little bit. I'll put this corner in so you can see the corner and we'll decorate around it so you can see a nice little um corner flourish and this one if you had the triple punch before and you weren't too happy with it this one is really nice to eat to use if you did this out of glitter castle you'd have lots of little bits to put in your shaker cards right so first off we're going to start with crumb cake and stamping an early espresso i always start with a lighter card for a lighter one first normally i have a different sponge for each ink but I'm being lazy so you have to excuse me and we're just gonna just go around it's gonna look not very blendy at first but that's fine that's what we do and to do my sponges um, there's a punch that Stampin' Up! do called everyday label and I punch it up fold it in half around um, a, a piece of sponge and only cut my sponges the, the round sponges into six um, so then I just, and then write on it what it is. So this sponge is actually for early espresso, but hey ho, they're being naughty. So that's my lighter one. And then I'm going to use early espresso, which is the darker one. Just do the edges. This isn't going to go in so much. Okay. So just gently around the edges and that just darkens the edges off a bit. And it gives you that kind of, it leads the eye into the middle by doing that. So you have the outside darker. And the inside lighter, trying to leave a little bit of white space or much lighter space um, in the middle. And then what we do, we're going to go back round with Sahara sand and just blend that together a bit. Now the idea behind this one is it is going to be uh, more texture to it. So I don't mind if it's not a perfect blend anyway. But I just like to go back over with the Sahara sand just to blend it all in. And there you go, and that's what you have. Okay, and obviously when it dries a bit as well, it will change. So this is the Butterfly Basic stamp set. It's a large stamp set. It's got two stamp, two cases to it. And we're going to, um, I think we're just using this one set really. It was one, one half of it. I've not touched that half. I might use that stamp actually. We'll see. That's the thing with um, um, artist trading cards. They're not something that I find you can easily replicate. So we're just going to stamp off a little bit and come down the side here. You always change things. Oh, I always change things. Maybe that's just me. Hey ho. Right, so that's that bit. And then 
Uh, okay, I do have some spare card. So what we're going to do, we're going to stamp the flower twice in Sahara sand. No, not that one, that's AliExpress though. So it's nice and light on here. So I just want the flowers. Maybe that's dry over there. And then this one. Uh, let's stamp it off. There you go, that's that one. And then we'll stamp the sentiment. And that will be stamped in early espresso. There's nothing in a caterpillar that tells you it's going to be a butterfly. Lovely sentiment. I am going to miss this um, stamp set. Now we're just going to stamp this butterfly in the light from the Dat for Dill. Let's do that over here. There we go. We'll leave that to dry a little bit and then we're going to just quickly colour these flowers in. Um, so this is the quickest colouring. So this is the blends and this is Delightful Daffodil. Again, the light and the dark. And because we used um, Sahara Sand, which is obviously a water-based ink, um, you can... Um, colour in really quickly with the blends, it won't bleed because uh, it's a water based, it's a higher sand, it's water based and these are alcohol. So I'm colouring this in really quickly, you would take a little bit more time to do this, but as always I'm rushing. And then I've just got a little bit of pumpkin pie uh, blend just to do the statement in. There we go. Okay, so then we just cut everything out. So the flowers, we're just going to cut the flower heads out. Just do it really roughly around here. I always find cutting it into smaller pieces helps. And obviously, you turn, as you know, you turn. The card, not the stamp, sorry, not the scissors even. So I can't do two things at once, particularly when it's fussy cutting. I don't like doing fussy cutting that often, to be quite honest. I'm not a fussy cutter. As you can tell, because I've just mucked this one up completely, I think. So I've kept this one fairly monochromatic in colour and just using the yellow as a kind of a highlight just to spotlight some elements of the stamp. I suppose it's partly the, the spotlight technique. Just cut this butterfly out. Oh, I am not a very good. Though to be fair, I am trying to do this really quickly. I just realised I started doing a video and I need to go and get my girls from school in about five minutes. So this is going to be a really quick video. The second ATC will take no time at all. Uh, so that butterfly is not very well cut out, but never mind. Never mind. So then what we do, we're just going to plonk these down. It's probably a bit much glue, but what we'll do... If you've got a bit much glue and you're sticking other things down... Where does that one go? That one goes there. Try and line it up as best you can. It depends how well your um, cutting has been. 
Your clutter will probably be better than mine. And also it helps if you don't get the glue on your fingers. So that really just highlights those bits. And what we're also going to do very quickly, you don't need much of this at all. I love this glitter. I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter. You don't want it too thick because obviously you want to be able to see the flower underneath. And this is literally just to add some sparkle and some extra texture. I love this glitter um, embossing paste. And luckily it continues in the other in the new catalogue. I think I would have cried if it didn't. Obviously what you'll do is wash your... Um, and there we go. Actually I'll put that that side I think. There. So you can see the difference I've made uh, by adding the corner punch to it. Um, so yeah, that's that one. So this one, oh, have I got everything? Did I cut a heart somewhere? This one's just a pretty one. Oops, sorry. She says making loads of noise trying to find everything that she needs. Just a second. Sorry, I left my die cut heart in the box. Right, so first of all, what we're going to do, we're going to go around the edge of the card with the Muda Bane. So you don't have to edge your card in browns or blacks and, and dark ones. Uh, doing it with a bright colour like this will have the same effect. It will lead your eye inwards. I'm not going to put as much colour on because obviously we're going to cover it up with cardstock anyway. Now then, I'll tell you what cardstock this is um, closer to the time. Um, sorry, in the comments below. I, oh, how terrible am I? I can't speak today. Uh, but I have forgotten completely which one it is. So we want this to be 3 by 4 again. Um, uh, so I want the flower to be there. Not too worried about the top flower. So I think I did this. Just make it a little bit under. Yeah. That size. So I'm trying to work out what I was doing then. And then the same here. Oh, wrong one. So you can see the flower is the main focus there. Now that's a really bright paper. So what I do is I've cut some vellum to match and go over it. So exactly the same size. Just be careful when cutting vellum that you do cut it the right size so that can come out the way. Right, so we need the um so that bit can go out the way. Oh and get so messy quickly don't we? So let's quickly round all the corners. So it matches the card blank. I do like it all to match. If you're going to have rounded corners on your card base, then it needs to be on all the mats and layers and vice versa, really. But that's just me. You don't have to be so fussy. Right. As we know, vellum, it's incredibly difficult to stick down. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put, I'm going to stick it down one side and put some ribbon over the top, and that. I just use tape. I find tape is best with with vellum. And in fact, um, you can almost get away uh, with um, oh, with tape under vellum. It, it, it's quite hard to see. I'll show you. Line up this side first, if you want to be sensible. So you see, you can you can you can see the the vellum, but very uh, briefly. So what I'll do, I'll put some tape down again, 
very briefly, very faintly. I sometimes listen to myself and wonder what on earth I'm talking about. I'm sure we all do that. Still, it's better than some of the conversations I have with my children. You don't know, I feel like you're going around in circles with those sometimes. Should keep talking you know. so yes as i was saying um the um pre-order for the 2018-19 annual catalog starts on the 2nd of may um if you want if you like to get new stuff i want to get it early and join my team and you will be able to otherwise i have an open house on saturday the 2nd of june in the afternoon you can check out my facebook events page or my um uh, uh website and that will have all my events on it right so here's the heart so this is the heart happiness stamp from the um, occasions catalog and we're going to start with this one and we're going to do this one in sweet sugar pen. the last one i didn't actually match the colors very well because well i didn't now this stamp she says i found it was quite easy to layer up I say that, but it's probably not going to work now, is it? Yeah, see? There we go. So that's done. And then... This stamp. So with this one, we're going to use the, um, the marker technique. I'm sure you've all seen this. And emerald emery. So I'm using the 2017-19 colours with fresh, fresh fig, and the 2016-18 colours emerald MV, which are which will be retiring at the end of May. I'm sure you all heard about the colour refresh now. <sighs> Huff and stamp. I think I should have stamped off the, the um, I should have stamped off that sugar plum, shouldn't I? Yeah, never mind. When, when you do it, stamp off. Do as I say, not as I do. And there we go. So this one, I've not put any sentiment on. It's just that image. You don't have to have a sentiment with an ATC. And there we go. So that's my original, and that's that one. Oh, I didn't put any from Rudy Bay. Probably too late to do it now, but I might just get away with it. Just drags, brings it all in, never mind. Right, so that was my original, and that's my the one I've done now, and that was my original, and that's the one I've done now. So two ATCs for you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.